Welcome to episode 66 of Chumps to Champions and today we're taking on Leighton Orient in the playoff semi-final. We're wearing the same t-shirt as the last episode simply because I'm recording it on the same day as the last episode. If you missed the last episode we just about missed out on automatic promotion from Skybet League 1. This is the final table. Colchester managed to play the um, game in hand, the one that was postponed, they won 6-1, amazing win. Uh, anyway, that's irrelevant. Luton and Wolves got promoted automatically. Chesterfield, Chumpsford, Leighton Orient, Sheffield Wednesday in the playoffs. Oh, it's going to be close, I think. Leighton Orient were top of the table for a long time, been on a bad run over the last few games, not winning too many games. Whereas we, on the other hand, unbelievably so, have been unbeaten in the league since the start of 2021 the last game we lost was against Preston North End at the end of 2020 and the only defeat this season has been in the FA Cup this year sorry in the FA Cup so we're going to this game we drew 2-2 against Oldham beat Preston and Millwall 1-0 on the last episode so Leighton Orient what are we going to do against them this is the team I'm going to play I'm not sure if I've actually picked it yet properly. I'm always unprepared for this sort of thing. I, I think Cameron Stewart isn't quite fit enough for this game. I'm going to leave him out for this first leg and he'll be back for the second leg, coming on and battling away and trying to get us into the playoff final. So wish me luck, guys. Please hit that like button if you have enjoyed the series so far and you're wishing me luck for the playoffs. I'm excited. We have the potential to get promoted to the championship. Unbelievable stuff. Let's get straight into this then. We've gone down the A12 into East London to play Leighton Orient away from home in the first leg of this playoff. Come on, please. Oh, they've got Fabian Delph in midfield, who has obviously dropped down a bit lately. He's moved on a free to Leighton Orient in League One. And their two strikers, Howe, who has only scored three times to them on loan from Sunderland. I guess it's he's a recent looning, a loan signing and O'Sullivan as well eight goals and they've scored loads of goals this season but the strikers really haven't Opera scored 12 hmm interesting okay let's see what we can do obviously the defense has been a bit weak lately but their strike force doesn't look amazing but that probably means they're both going to score a hat trick against me so I'm just going to make sure they don't do that we're going to close down Fabian Delft as well they've got Czech Teoti as well I've just noticed 34 years old on this moved to 30k a couple years ago <laughs> that's pretty crazy as well anyway been on a good run let's keep it up simple gonna keep it on my usual counter and try and hit them on the break I guess Foto's in form at the moment. A couple of goals in the last game. Please. We need a good result in this first leg just to make me feel a bit comfortable. Bob Harris playing against his old team, remember? Faulkner. Oh, Riley scores early on in this game. Seven minutes in. Nick Riley with only his seventh goal of the season. Into the team because Cameron Stewart's injured or just coming back from injury. He, and Cameron Street will obviously back, be back into the team next game. Unless Riley scores a hat trick or something, maybe. Then uh, maybe then I can't really drop him. But let's see what happens. Leighton Orient straight on the attack, though. With, oh, 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 how scores. Only his fourth goal of the season. Bit of a cock up, I think, or a bit of lucky deflections, I think, going on there. They're back in the game straight away. Let's watch this. So it hit up. No, Mitchell slammed it into Harris and how got it through Lovelock, who was probably a bit surprised by the by the shot in the end. Let it let it slip through him. Unfortunate. It's one one. We've had thirty one percent possession. What's going on? We're not doing much in this game other than the goal. We've done nothing, and here they go again on the right hand side from a throw in. And Opera scores, and it's 2-1. This is not good at all. We're getting pinned back. I'm going to go attacking. I'm going to go direct. Push higher up. Maybe that will work. Oh, no. After a really good positive start to the game, there are two goals resulting from throw-ins. O'Sullivan. No one was marking Opera. And he found the back of the net quite easily. Bob Harris on a 4.5 against his old team. What the hell is he doing? Riley, Faulkner, Hickford, 2-2 are back in the game. Well done, Hickford, making up for his poor game last game. Second goal of the season for him, for the beautiful man. 
and it's 2-2. This is an exciting game. Faulkner, good cross. Hickford couldn't really miss there. Left footed, left foot volley just tapped it home. What is Hick What is Harris doing? Keep going up there, and you can still do this. I mean, what is Harris? I'm going to give him a bad team talk. Looked delighted still, despite me having a go at him. I'm going to keep him on. I could bring Simonton on for or Clausen on at left back, I guess. But I'm going to keep him on for now and uh, see if he can improve in the second half because he is dangerous from set pieces. Riley on the attack straight away. Faulkner, he couldn't miss. We've oh, what a game this is. What a game. I've turned it on to attacking, and we've got back into this game and taken the lead now. Riley. Bursting down the right, right at the start of the second half, and Faulkner couldn't miss. Open goal. Riley's had a good game. Maybe he should have. To, maybe he will have to play in the, the second leg. He could play up front instead of Foti. Foti's not done anything in this game, but Riley's been really dangerous down the right hand side. Reese has had a poor game. We've had players having really poor games in this game. I'm going to bring Reese off for Hoey, and I'm going to bring Doolan on for Foti, who hasn't done anything in this game. Dolan scored two goals for me. That one amazing goal. I said, if he doesn't score again for me, that's that's fine. He did score one more, but he's not done anything since. But we haven't needed him. Fotu's done well. Mitchell's done well in midfield. We've just played really well. Can we get a fourth? We do! Main with the goal. Dennis Main. Both my centre-backs have scored today. I'm just going to keep it on attacking because we've not had many chances, but we've... We've scored four goals with 36% possession. Riley with another assist. He's on fire today. Brilliant stuff from him. He has to play in the next game. He, uh, he hasn't scored a hat-trick, but he's got a couple of assists as well. Mitchell's going to come off, I think. Although there's not really anyone to come on for him, is there? Maybe bring Bob Harris off. He's not had the best of games. We bring on Clausen. Alcock's better at left-back than Clausen, so we'll swap them around. What a game this has been. Topsy turvy, and we go into the second leg, hopefully, with a couple of goal goals in the bag as a cushion. Maybe even a third. Another corner, knocked away. Hoey, Faulkner. Oh, yes, it is. Doolan scores only his third goal for the club. Another sort of tap in, really. 5 2. Surely we're into the final. Hoey headed it into Faulkner, it came off him. And then it was batted into someone, I don't know who, but Doolan found the back of the net. Was in the right place, good off the ball from him, I guess. And we're 5-2 up after a bit of a disappointing first half. We've really turned it around. But, oh, I thought that was going to be a mistake there. I thought it was, they were going to score. They still might. There's still 20 seconds to go in this game. Hoey, lovely. Oh, Riley, he's... He's down the right, he's tackled, and that's probably the end of the game. What a win! What a win! We made the most of our chances, didn't we? Fantastic stuff from the team. <laughs> Bob Harris has switched off. Maybe he just can't play against his old team. I, I will give him uh, a chance and let him play in the second leg, though. What a game. Five different goal scorers. Very happy with that. I'm going to... Yeah, let's just do this quickly. Du, 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 du. Ah, brilliant. Okay, let's get on with the second leg. I'll just continue and then play the second game. So in the other playoff game, Sheffield Wednesday have beaten Chesterfield 2-1 in the first leg. Right, so it's time for the second leg at home. We've got a three-goal advantage, remember. I don't think away goals are relevant in... Uh, in playoff games so that doesn't matter I'm just deliberating who to play because I could rest some players ahead of the final of course which will be I don't even know when the final will be I guess in a week or a few days so I might rest some players I, I'll rest photo I'm gonna put Doolin in but I'm gonna put right keep Riley in, in the team because he was so good in the last game but Cameron Stewart's gonna come into the team for JB onto the bench and I'm not actually really resting anyone there, am I? Maybe Hoey can play instead of Reese today. 
and I'll play Robert Murphy instead of Faulkner on the wing. He's not really played many games since coming on loan from, I think, Palace. He's come on loan. I think him and Fotu both came from Palace. He scored one goal, but hasn't done much else for me. So let's give him a run out. But other than that, I think I'll stick with the same team. We need to keep it re relatively consistent. I'll keep the defence as consistent as possible. We should be comfortably through, but you can, you can never be complacent in Football Manager, can you? Despite being 5-2 up, anything can happen. And Leighton Orient are deadly on the attack. I'm just resting, Reese. And they've gone with a different formation. Look at that. That is weird. 4-2-2-2 formation. Bizarre for I, who knows why they're doing that. Maybe they've got a different away and home tactic, using different things possibly. I don't know, but we'll find out how effective it is against our team. Obviously, they lost five two in the last game, so he's probably decided I need to do something different. I guess he does. Any everyone would be in the same position, wouldn't they? Everyone would want to do something different because it didn't work in the first game. They've won a corner early on. If they can get an early goal, then it will be a bit of a worry for us, I guess. And they do. It's 1-0 already. Remember, we haven't lost a league game all season. I suppose a playoff game is slightly different to a league game. But anyway, they've taken the lead in this game from their first shot. And Riley's picked up a knock, so Cameron Stewart's actually going to have to come on anyway. Which might be a little bit of blow of a blow going into the final if we get through to the final. Nothing much happening in this game. I might go attacking. I, I don't really want to lose my unbeaten run now, especially going into the final. I, I do want to try and keep it going. I don't want to lose a game. So let's try and get back into the game then and get a goal. I'll probably bring photo on at half time. Maybe Faulkner as well. kulabelli has got injured, so that's going to have to be a sub. Half time. We're not doing very well, are we? We're not doing anything. So let's make some changes. Kulabelli's going to come off for Reese, And Howie will go into defensive midfield. And I will bring on Fotu for Doolan, I think. And we'll make that do. Obviously, that's all I can do. That's all my subs done already so there's no option really to mix it up in the second half let's just go a bit more attacking pump it into the box knock it into photo see what he can do and try and get a goal back because I don't really want to lose but it's not the end of the world is it because we're still through to the final even if we do lose 1-0 nothing is happening in this game this is boring Come on, guys, let's have a shot. We've had three and they've had two shots. This is ridiculous. What a boring game. I don't know if it's their tactic. It's been really solid with, like, two lots of banks of midfield. Well done, main. Over the top, here goes Fotu. Fotu hits the post. Our only clear-cut chance of the game, and that was our chance to get back into it. We might as well go overload and just try and get a goal back. They're probably going to overload as well, which is maybe cancelling each other out. But they're going out. It doesn't matter that we've lost the game, I guess, at the end of the day. It would have been nice to keep our unbeaten run going. But we are through to the playoff final. I wonder who we're going to face. Chesterfield or Sheffield Wednesday. They're happy. We lost at home, but it doesn't matter. Uh, what shall I say? Congratulations, lads. Yeah, we're through. That's the main thing. Even though we had a poor game, it doesn't really matter. Really boring game. Strange game. Koulibaly's going to miss the final, so I might have to play Naji in defensive midfield. I've got Darren Ferguson sacked from Leighton Orient as well. So we will be facing Chesterfield in the next episode in the playoff final. They managed to defeat Sheffield Wednesday 2-0, coming from behind. Chesterfield have had a very good run of late, but we've both lost a game in the playoff semi-final. They lost the first one, we lost the second one. Recently, they've, as you can see, they've had a very good run. The only games they've lost recently, once against me and the Sheffield Wednesday games. So they've had a similarly good season 
obviously finished on the same number of points as us, 81 points, but had two better goal difference. Their defence isn't as good as ours, but their attack is pretty lethal. Wow, wish me luck guys, hit that like button. It's going to be a close one I think between Chesterfield and Chelmsford, a bit of alliteration there isn't it? Wow. Oh, I'm excited. We can get promoted to the championship in the next episode, episode 67. Please leave your predictions in the comment section below. Can I beat Chesterfield? I really hope I can. I really hope I can. For the benefit of the series, it'd be great to go up to the championship and have a crack at that division next. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you soon.